I think Coleman, big return, sparked the entire Jet offense right here. I'm going to break it down. Seven plays, basically seven run plays. Six runs by the book and a pass play in a Jet motion, Jet sweep action to Braxton Berrios, right? Very, very first play right here, the Jets run a little counter action to the left with a fake Jet motion, fake Jet sweep, Jet motion action by Berrios, hand off to Michael Carter. The runner right here is your kick out guard, a little counter action because the guard's kicking out and the tight end is leading to the second level. What does the motion do right here? It makes this linebacker react and attack harder down the edge, which allows Wesco to get into the second level with a better angle to block this guy right here. So the Jets get a positive play thanks to a good design by LaFleur and they run the first play of the drive. It's a run. Run number one, counter left, jet motion, good angles, bad block by Wesco could be better but it's a positive run. Let's go to the second run of the drive, second play of the drive. They motion run Griffin back in and they're going to run a little split zone action. This works a lot in the NFL because edge defenders just crash down no matter what. West is going to go with a nasty cut block here and the Jets are going to pick up the first down with the rookie Michael Carter who is playing extremely well. Very good play design and that's run number two. Jets running the ball, running the ball. First down. Good job, good split zone action. Very next play, run again. Now a split zone action to the right with Ryan Griffin doing the cut, the split action. Doesn't work as well, but okay, if you run the ball three times and you get a first down with two of those runs, it's a success. Two successful runs and a third one stuffed for a, for no gain. It's okay because the mindset's there. It shows what you want to do. Fourth play, the Jets go and they throw the ball on a jet. Motion, touch pass to Berrios. Very good sweep action. Look at Corey Davis, how important he is now. Blocking the edge and allowing Morgan Moses to just go for the cornerback, right? Goes for the cornerback, get a little sweep action, Berrios. Very good blocking all around by the Jets all line. I love to see Vera Tucker here, a backside player, getting to the second level, into the play side. Would love to see him get into somebody, but good to see his motion in the outside run. Right here, another run for the Jets. Another run for the Jets. Jameson Crowder comes, and his motion makes this edge defender right here. Next to Ryan Griffin crash down, he crashes down, allowing Griffin to just climb to the linebacker, climb to the linebacker and, and block him with a clear path. Excellent design again, don't miss the count. This is play number five, run number four, basically run action for the O-line number five. And this is Michael Carter. Very good, very good first down run. Motion, run. 5 for 5, jet sweep, edge stressing offense, that's who the Jets want and need to be. LaFleur needs to do it more. Now it's first down and go and the Jets need two plays to score a touchdown. First play it's going to be Ty Johnson, the Jets have a one, 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 one scenario here, not great. This play only happens if Fair Tucker climbs to the second level as quick as he can but just a tough spot for 75 right here on the zone action to the right and then the Jets are going to score while Fuller goes back to the run that has worked a ton on the drive they go for the split zone action and look at Tavro Lasco cutting down the edge defender and Ty Johnson cuts back for six this drive represents who the Jets want to be what the Jets offense need to be going forward principles Basics.